Okay, hello everyone, my name is Laquan Williams, and in this video I wanted to do a review on the uh, current episode of, of Superman Lois that just aired a couple days ago. It's season 7, episode 12, and it's called um, Th Through the Valley of the Dead, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Through the Valley of Death. So basically Superman is obviously still um, in, held captive by his Kryptonian brother, um, and obviously his father obviously is there in holographic form. His forces of solitude, I don't know what's going to happen with that. If he gets to render that back and save it and fix it and get his father back there, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, Morgan Edge, his brother, um, obviously and, and um, from their same mother, obviously, but from um, Krypton. Um, he was implanting General Zod's um, consciousness and... Um, memories inside Superman's body to take over his body and to help him take down the whole city and the world. That's what Morgan Edge is uh, obviously trying to do still. Um, that's his purpose and that's what his father told him he had to do. Um, John Diggle made an appearance on the show to help the team of uh, the family of Superman um, take down obviously Morgan Edge with the missile that he brought from Argus. Him and Lila obviously, they thought it was going to be used to take down um, Morgan Edge, but John Diggle found out that John Henry Irons is using it to kill Superman, unfortunately, because Superman was turned and he's evil. His whole entire mind's being taken over and body by um, General Zod, and he can't fight General Zod off for that long, and he told and, um, uh, he did take over his body briefly. Um, he was able to fight him off after he fought John Henry Irons. I thought that was a weird. I'm like, well, where did he go if he was able to fight him off? That was kind of a little weird. Um, but the episode was still cool. Um, John's, uh, excuse me, um, J um, Clark Kent and Lois Lane's sons tried their best to figure out an idea. So Jordan told Jonathan told his brother Jordan, "Use your superpowers to try to find Dad." And he couldn't do it after a little while because he's too far. He doesn't know where he's at, and his powers aren't that strong yet. Obviously, he eventually did. And um, uh, after his dad was yelling at him and crying, his, yelling his name, and he found him, Morgan Edge told him through their psychic talking slash communications, your dad won't be the same. Don't try to come save him and stop him. Nobody can. Um, John Diglin didn't like how John Henry Irons was there to kill Superman. He said, there is another way. This is what I have to do. Uh, John Henry was called by, um, obviously, Lois Lane, and she told him Superman turned and they need help, but obviously... They, they he said John, but um, it was not explained obviously um, that who which John it was, but apparently it was John Henry Irons because John Diggle came out of nowhere and surprised Lois Lane, and she didn't know he was gonna be there. Obviously, the DoD and her father obviously right here were behind this. He said he gave him the green light to use that death um, a missile on Superman to take him out. Apparently, it can hurt crypto Kryptonians and weaken them and take their power away from them for just amount of time, enough time to kill them. I don't know if that's two, three, five minutes. We don't know, but it's a brief window, I guess. Um, it was unfortunately uh, unsuccessful. It was fortunately unsuccessful, and unfortunately for Morgan Edge, who is captured now in DOD custody, they used the missile on him. Uh, after Superman and jo John Henry Irons were fighting in his big, huge Master Chief slash Doom Slayer, um, suit where his big huge hammer that he has in his hand they were done fighting they went to go um, take down Morgan Edge and they did now he's captured and he's in DOD custody the military has him don't know what's gonna happen with that they are still trying to find Lana, uh, Laura Lang uh, his obviously right hand and obviously the cousin to I think Lex is, is, um, Lex Luthor I think she is or something like that um, she's related to him she's still missing uh, I don't know what she can do, but his whole entire army plans are done. She can do something, I don't know, but they still have to find her. That's what they said is priority number one. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. If General Zod, it, Zod is going to come back some type of way. I don't know how, and how is that going to take place? You know, and they, how Superman just got rid of him out of his consciousness without burning or doing anything. He just fought him off, and then after that... He's back to normal. I thought that was a little weird. Um, this whole season has been very good. Obviously, the show. That's probably the only re things that I, one of the re only things I say can say is that I, I kind of kind of scratch my head. And it's a little weird. Um, obviously, and also um, what's weird is John John Diggle didn't know anything about John Henry Irons at all. In Argus, I'm surprised he didn't because Lila and him do their homework, and he's coming to the city. The whole entire things were warded off with the army and whatnot. He didn't even he knew he was coming there, but I guess he had no idea about him and what was going on. So that was obviously a surprise. But I guess they weren't keeping up up with that. They were just too busy worrying to help the team. 
obviously. So that episode was cool. It was good. But we'll see what happens with the, the rest of this show. Um, and you know what, Superman obviously having to get Morgan Edge obviously out out of there, but um, off the the plant, uh, not just the, the city of Smallville. I went away from Metropolis, but out, out of the world because obviously he's very dangerous and he wants his army, his ex, his ex Kryptonite army, he wants to take over the world and the whole city. And he said, he, We can build Krypton here. He, as you stay, stand by my side, as my brother, you can help me do that. You take your family, uh, your family will be safe. Everybody else has to die, basically. That's what he's saying. That's basically what happened. Episode was cool. I enjoyed it. Um, the previous episode that they had before it was um, a cool. I say this one would be a seven and a half. The one previously was about a six, just just six overall. This one was cool. Like I said, that was a little weird with John Diggle and them didn't know anything about John Henry Irons. They didn't keep tabs on him from Argus. They knew nothing about him. Um, they don't know where where Laura Lang's at at all. She's obviously very bad and dangerous. That's obviously a question mark. Um, Morgan Edge's um, whole situation with his Fortress of Tol Solitude, what's going to happen with that? Are they going to go back there and destroy it all? Or, right, we don't know what's going to happen with that. The ex-Kryptonite situation, will they blow up the mines? The mine, obviously the coal mines, where the, all of it's at. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, we'll see, obviously. But that was basically it. There's nothing else I can really think about, obviously, in the episode. Also, the whole John Henry Iron situation, just like he was just like set on one thing. Nope, Superman's gotta die. He he can't be saved no matter what. Like he did, that was just his main focus to kill this Superman. So nothing else could happen in hit another world. Or that's what he was saying. And Lois was telling him, "You have to give him a chance." And she and she told him, "Finally, he's my husband, the father of my kids." And she said, "He said, you know, I, I understand that, but you know, he turned and he's too far gone." It's too late now that he was dead set on, which is his mission, obviously, coming to this world, obviously, this current time in 2021, and killing Superman, obviously. But um, uh, that's that he didn't do. He didn't turn by choice, obviously. He had to do it, and she let him know, obviously, about that. And his kids, obviously, did everything they can to help. Jordan and Jonathan, obviously, he told his he told his younger brother use your powers, and he did. Obviously, uh, John, uh, jo Jonathan used it to um. Obviously, um, jo Jordan used it to um, find his father because he obviously he has his Krypton Kryptonian powers. He tried to find him. He couldn't hear him out. All and he was like, I'm, he he uh, asked his uh, uh, Jonathan asked Jordan, where where are you at? Uh, where are you listening to? I think I'm hearing people in Australia based off the accent. I can't find Dad. They eventually found their father. Obviously, Superman, who was Clark Kent, after he escaped from. Uh, uh, for a brief moment from uh, the um, Fortress of Solitude that um, well the, it's not the Fortress of Solitude that's where Superman is but Morgan Edge's version of it in the desert or the Valley of the Death or whatever in the Badlands and he's told he was yelling to Jordan he said are you okay what's going on and, uh, he said uh, he said dad where are you at and Morgan Edge came over and found him and he, he told him no one can help you save your father don't try to do it he won't be the same when you, when you find him obviously because General Zod General Zod obviously is his consciousness take over Superman's body um, I guess they can't bring him back to uh, life or somehow they can't bring him physically into someone else's into it for, for his own body but I guess that he can't do that obviously because he's dead his consciousness I don't know where it's at how they were able to get it I have no idea but that's what um, Morgan Edge and his um, Kryptonian father did who was a hologram obviously just like Superman's obviously and um We'll see what happens with the rest of the show. Um, uh, continuing on, obviously, is renewed for a second season. So we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, the show was fun. Uh, the show's been fun. It's been very entertaining. But just a couple of head scratchers in this episode um, is what kind of made me think. I'm like, uh, I don't know what's going on, why they're doing this, obviously, with the whole situation. Like I said, they don't know where Laurel Lang is. Um, no, uh, John Henry Irons, they didn't know about him, uh, obviously. Um, John Diggle didn't know, and Argus didn't know, and obviously he didn't even know. They, they were keeping tabs on the communications down there and the, the situation with the DOD and what uh, Lois Lane's dad's obviously right here wanted to do, and he still, have, obvi he still obviously has. And he, he told him, too, I got all these experimental weapons you can take Superman down with, all those kryptonite experimental weapons who are, that are obviously um, very dangerous and have been fully tested that they've been using, obviously to keep uh, uh, locked away and they were used obviously on him a couple episodes ago 
obviously with the one the kryptonite obviously synthetic one uh gun that shot out with that uh he used it on the uh, other kryptonians to take them down that were evil so he still has a stockpile of weapons that he can take superman down with and any other crypto kryptonite kryptonian so we'll see what happens with that obviously um is you know, his um, fail-safe plan is initiative that he has in place to take down Superman. He knows about it because he told him about it, so they're both together, basically, on the same side, even though he apologized to his daughter at Lois Lane, and obviously Clark Kent said he was proud of him and he wouldn't doubt him again. She, he was proud of his daughter, but he said he would never doubt uh, Clark again. He was sorry. So we'll see what happens with that, you know, because, you know, just like General Thunderbolt Ross from the, um, the, the Hulk, he's just the same. His daughter... He doesn't like the fact that his daughter is with the superhero um, slash protagonist, main protagonist, and he wants to capture him. He's obviously very dead set on that, and um, uh, or not wanting him in the way. So we'll see what happens with that. Obviously, as a general, just the same. He is their version, so that the Hulk and the Superman are a little similar. Obviously, even though it's Marvel and DC, but that's that the similarity is very important to look at. Obviously, so we'll see what happens with the rest of the show as it progresses. It's gonna be a renew. It's already has already been renewed for a second season. Like I said, obviously for a second one. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, the show has been good. I've been enjoying it. A couple of head scratchers in this episode. Like I said. But it's been good overall. But that's all I have to say about this with Superman and Lois. Um, I don't know if Lex Luthor is going to make an appearance on the show. What's going to happen with Laura Lang? What's If Supergirl is going to come on the show and the, before the, this season's over, make an appearance to help them out? Um, if John Diggle and other Green Arrow characters will come back on this uh, show and help them out? Other potential crossovers, obviously, in the future, what we are hoping to see, obviously, but before this year is over, possibly. I don't know, obviously, but we'll see. But that's all I have to say about this. Thanks for watching my video. Let me know what you have to think about this, obviously. Um, it's been fun. Like I said, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, obviously. You know, the, uh, continuing on. But thank you again for watching my video. Let me know what you have to think about Superman and Lois. If you have watched it or if you have not. If you're not interested. Because, like I said, lots of people are tired and burnt out for the super, superhero TV shows and the movies. Lots of people are saying that. They're like, they're tired of it. Let's move on, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, it's all obviously a gamble when you're taking on these shows to watch you, when you're deciding to do that. I can understand that, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, obviously, but it's been very fun and very entertaining, um, to say the least, obviously. Um, that's basically it. Um, uh, thank you again for watching my video, and I talk to say about this again. Superman and Lois is a season one, episode 12 review of Through the Valley of the Death. Like I said, the previous episode, um, last week, I gave that about a six. I gave this episode a seven and a half. It was good. Like I said, I just want to see a couple of things that to, um, to make sense, obviously, with the whole situation with Laura Lang and, obviously, um, Superman's Fortress of Solitude. If he can put it back together, if, he, if he's going to take down the one in the, in the Badlands that, um, uh, um, obviously, um, his brother Morgan Edge has, his Kryptonian brother, and does he have more stash houses slash um, multiple... Um, uh, fortresses himself that he can go to and obviously will the muck the coal mines and, and um, Smallville be blown up they have all the X kryptonite in there are they going to blow that whole thing up or take all of it out uh, somehow I don't know Superman can't do it himself obviously so I don't know what's going to happen we'll see what happens with that maybe, maybe Argus and John Diggle and, Lon and uh, his uh, wife can help obviously um, so we'll see what happens with that thank you so much for watching that's all I have to say about this again uh, Superman Lois my review thank you again for watching bye thanks